Right, guys, for this, we are re-watching... Oh, no, it's got some guy on it. We're re-watching The Patriots because we really, really want to relive this Rainbow Six Patriots, me and Jamie, and... Um, but yeah, people do videos on this all the time about all these the top ten games that we've got. And that's what we're gonna do technically, but we're just gonna really not from a historical point, but just for our thoughts and feelings on it. And eventually when he shuts up, which he does now. The folly is not actual gameplay. That's one thing to remember about this. Of course they were never made into a game. It was created over a year ago, so we never from the get-go, we never actually see what the game properly looks like. Because this is like as I remember, like a heavy rain kind of thing, isn't it? Like contextual, um, and it. At least they're honest. It's not actual gameplay. And then you got this woman with the breasticles, with the, with, with, with your cake, birthday. with your cake. Don't blow out. Mm. Was that the only option? I'm sure there's another. If you like, look <laughs> <my> <laughs> and you know. Kit, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's this would be slapped like you know, Infinite War came out. Um, Infinite War is like press, press, uh, press A to feel or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just... Oh no, not even a war. Um, Advance War, where yeah, yeah, Advance War. Sorry, yeah, yeah. stand. T it pisses, so stand up. <laughs> Do I have that you don't stand up? Do you just just sit there? Do, throw you, up, do you just wait for them to burst through the door? I don't. I don't know. Like. It's weird. You can tell that this is like on last gen console. Well, it would be made for last gen consoles. Yeah. Um, but it still looks pretty damn nice. It looks pretty damn that. nice. I mean, it's the thing is, it the purpose of it was it was kind of it was more of a game that was going to be like less just straightforward. No, we only went for the panty shop there. Yeah, they go for the. <laughs> Uh, Rainbow Six Vegas kind of thing where they're just like the terrorists you go in there yeah. and shoot them and jobs are good um, I thought it was an interesting I thought it was going to be an interesting concept and I was really looking forward to it when it was first announced like it wasn't like it wasn't like your typical because obviously this is from first person obviously I know Rainbow Six was from first person as well but it was a it was just a Different flavor, wasn't it? I mean, obviously, you put hold to prevent the station. That's quite cool. Like, you, if it's, if well, it's you have to continuously hold the trigger. You, that's a cool idea. Like, I thought that was a really cool idea, especially if you have to go. Like, it was through the game. You had to run around in first person and hold the trigger, and things kept happening. Like then, like you had to hold it while pressing to try. You know what I mean? Like, it was a good concept. You just like just hop over the roof and just forget. Like, oh fuck. You know what I mean? Like, and it was cool. Like, obviously. This, it looks like you're running around then, but then you go into third person now. Um, you can tell, obviously, this game was conceived quite a long time ago, just by the yeah. motion capture and everything like that. Um, but it was, it was different, and you yeah, you highlighted some of the, showed you some of the technology, the new stuff. You know, this looks like HUD, like. This would be like what it, I don't even say it's not actual gameplay, and so this was conceived to make sure what it looked like. But this is the typical thing that uh, studios nowadays um, do to trick you, yeah, <laughs> trick you into thinking it's gameplay when you know it's not. Um, yeah, so you even put a trophy in, you know, just to give that sort of effect. To show you. If you're actually playing the game, this is what it would sort of look like and feel like. But you've even got the panning down. That's, like... That's cool. Like that looks cool. Like repelling like that looks awesome. Very smooth, very slick. Mm. And the one when we stick siege, I don't know if it was in first person, but the repelling just felt a bit strange and odd to me. Well, that's the thing in siege. That's what as we're going to say. We're going to go on to and. Um look at what we did get with the final product yeah. um, see this is cool as well like they say oh we'd shoot the NYPD no, shoot the good guys shoot the good guys in the legs they're going to endanger that guy with the bomb things like that just little um, darker pieces of gameplay and like a it's not just simple 
kill bad guys, um, protect good guys. It's more what you're doing to ensure the best possible outcome. Yeah, and then it, 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 yeah, at the end of this demo where they took the guy off the bridge, didn't they? It was more of a. I was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a more dark, gritty game, um, and really sort of highlight like problems you face in the field, sort of thing. And it was. It, it had promise, didn't it? It, um, you know, it's saying like how many possible fatalities, kill radius, fifty meters, all this jazz, all this cool stuff, and then. I don't know what the little symbol above the head looks like discs. I don't know what the hell that is. Team player. So the one's been set off, and like, well, the bombs, this guy's put on his phone. Um, yeah, the bomb says is eliminate the threat. It should say question mark there. And, you know, it like it looked like this game was gonna have multiple choices, and there he goes. <laughs> and it looked it looked good. Like that looked good, and this this guy. I mean, it could for a bit. definitely do a very interesting story and then, line and a single player, which. And then we have this. So as as it said, like uh, they didn't they didn't want they cancelled Patriots because it was the whole uh, changing of the consoles. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't um, translate well into the new gen or something. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, it. Well, this isn't in the actual game. Well, yeah, I know, this is just like, this is done for you know this this looks this is how it was meant to be. Yeah, and I, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed I enjoyed Siege. I would not play a full price for it. Obviously, there's a whole the whole argument of the it going down the downgrades and all that and the graphical downgrades and and go on for hours about that and why why they did it. It's still a good game, and let's be fair, that room's still the same in the final yeah. game. The hostage doesn't look that glamorous, and I don't know. The hostage is tied up, and you see a bold big man or something. But and they, they, don't, they, they don't, don't move around. They don't move around like that, and they don't talk to the camera. And but to be fair, to be fair, do you think that you know, that range should have been shot ages ago? And to be fair, though, I was not expecting her to do that in the first place yeah. when you're in the game because that would not have happened. It would just not happen. There'll be drones all around them, and she'd be like, she'd be like just jumping, like <laughs> messing around. But this stuff could have been done. This this could easily be done. I don't care what they say. That, that repelling in could have been done. Yeah. It would have made more sense as well. Although yeah, because you've they've got like a few star points which are shown there. Which do they're all outside. Not, none of them are from the roof. You have to get up onto the roof yourself. And they can't say from a gameplay standpoint that this could have caused the whole team to be killed straight away because that fucking happens over in that corner. If you start in that corner, they shoot out windows. If you're not careful, you lose half your squad. And that's the thing, like with Patriots. And then what? This this took what a year and something to make. Whereas the Patriots cycle was like you knew that wasn't going to be like that. And what the Patriots cycle was what three and something years they were working on it. Three and a bit years. So you can you can see why um, the game itself. Um, as you can see, this looks like it's on PC. It's got four yeah. hundred. Um, you can tell why the game itself was so lacking at launch. I mean, lost... the destruction isn't this good within the game. No, exactly. And that ties into the grab downgrades. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's pretty much the same. Um, a few aesthetic changes and... A few aesthetic um, animations. Like the barricade change. Animations are different. The rooms are a different colour, I think. Um, but, yeah, the barricades look different. They look less built, more fixer up with. Yeah. Um, yeah, the structure is a lot more vibrant. Maybe I can a little tilt thing there. Yeah, which is good. Um, but yeah, you can tell why there's not a campaign because they just have time. They focus so much on multiplayer, and that was it. That's, mm. the, that's the fundamental thing. Can they ever reclaim the hostage? No, 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 no. See, that doesn't happen. That's what I'm saying. Is he carrying a TV? 
no, that's the shield. Ah, oh, the shield. Yeah, the shield. They're, 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 yeah, they're in the game, game obviously. Yeah. But the thing is, the, the, the thing, subtle gameplay changes that they can't reclaim the hostage. That would have been a really good feature. Mm. No, no, the problem here is that uh, the objective is always just completely and utterly given up with. Static, isn't it? Static. It's as simple as you kill the enemy team or the enemy t team kills you. Yeah, exactly. And those sniper nests outside, I'm sorry, I've never been in a game yet where those sniper nests are useful. The point is, you can't see into the building. Yeah, they, they utilise them in this gameplay then. Um, it's just... That's what, it is like that though, fair enough, it is like that in the game, you see someone run out and you're yeah. like, shit, and then get them. But, it would be quite nice if they could actually move the hostage, because then you that would looking be good. around the house trying to find them. That would be good. Um, it's... I mean, no one plays the game this tactically. No, no way. No way in hell that they do this. But it would, it would be better because then you'd get situations where they would try and move the hostage. And stuff like that. And then you would get situations like that. That's the point. Like, sort of changes create different situations. Um, you know, and then this, and obviously you can't just blow through it anymore, can you? In Rainbow Six, you can't blow through it in every floor panel. No, no, you can't. I mean, if you could, because there's someone outside, you see, they, you can't. If, it, they're, out, if, if they're, they're outside, outside you know exactly, you know exactly, exactly they where they are in this, in this version. And that, that's why you show why it's not the clap, because they can't do shit. Yeah. But yeah, you can't do that, you have to find a specific clap so door. And you, you kind of get the reason why they do that because they it it makes it they balance it better. It's for balancing reasons, isn't it? Really, yeah. just essentially, you never see the hostage in front of you like that. No, no, no. In fact, I don't get. I actually like that change because I don't think in a real world situation you'd have the hostage in front no, you, of you. The hostage would always behind you. Always you would always be back. behind you. The only time it's in front of you is when you're running and you put it in front of you to get it running. In real life, okay, in, he gets a shot and his power hasn't gone down. I call bullshit. In a proper multiplayer game, yeah. the, that guy would be dead already. Hostages. Well, what the hell was he shooting then? Okay, he moved way too quickly to get behind them. Yeah, I mean, but like... See, that actually looks like a pretty good game, but the problem is, no one plays like that in multiplayer. No, of course not. The game is over, the, the match is over within like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I do, I do like that, the fact yeah. that they're short, the short games. Um, but it's, I know what you mean, it's kind of... It's kind of... It's disappointing, because when you look back on it, and you see all the, the, see, the interesting thing about Patriots and Siege, is that you see that it wasn't just a game that was cancelled, hmm. it's a game that was cancelled then redone for something else. Yeah, they kind of like took some aspects of Patriot and put it into Siege, but, but because Siege is just a purely multiplayer game... Yeah, exactly. You you can see why it's just purely multiplayer. Yeah. They can't just say, they can't say some bullshit of like, oh, we wanted to focus on the multiplayer aspect because the new aspect of multiplayer is so generational and new gen... Blah, blah, blah. It's not. It's the fact they didn't have time. No. They were pushing for the new consoles. New consoles came out. 2015 rolled around. They got, uh, was it a year after the console came out? They pushed Rainbow Six out the door. No they single had player. to get a game out for this. And even now, they've updated it and everything. But it's still nothing like that. It's still nothing like that. It's not the game that we that you, you saw, which is never the, that's the problem with the game industry. You, you, never, get, the you never get the. The thing, but it gets really annoying when they say this is pre alpha, this is like pre pre, this is just like this is a quick mock up and it's better than anything we are, we're ever going to get. It's, it's really, it's really annoying. annoying. They might as well just be open and honest and say, look, this is pre rendered, it's what we can do with the engine. However, in an actual multiplayer environment with multiple connections, people, everything, we can't do that. Yeah. The technology is just not good enough. This is what we would like to give you, but this is what we're going to have this, to this, give you. This is what you're going to be shown. That there are games now that have, are doing that, and let's be fair, we've got season two of the Siege now. So that's the cycle to the end of 2017. So we're and not. 
Are they just bringing out new operatives? Or so is there anything else? There's eight new operatives. So you've got Spanish, um, Grom, uh, Poland, um, North Korea, and not North Korea, sorry, South Korea and Hong Kong as new operatives. Yeah. And then each two operatives have a new map. Yeah, there are, that's all free. Probably because it's still apologising. The season pass allows you to get them instantaneously yeah. and early. Um, so they're just two new maps to. So the next week will be two new map. One any, new map. Any new game modes? Or look, is it just still the... Look, you can't expect everything from a game mode. <laughs> a new game mode? I don't think it's just... The problem with, with the multiplayer is that whatever the game mode is... Capture the bag. It still always ends up as a team deathmatch. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I, I know. They, they, they need to make Juggernaut. I want them to make a Juggernaut game mode where you have to kill, like, one huge... I think, the, I think one of the problems they have is that defenders, they have to stay in what they there's that defence in one single spot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's always going to be one single spot in the house. Yeah. And so they'll build a defence above around that spot. And they only have time to really do it at that one point, don't they? They, need they, they don't have time to properly kick out the house. No, they need to make a game mode where there is bonuses and a reason to move around. Yeah. Like, fallback zones. So you could have it like... Um, they could I mean, make a game they like, have it like like a conquest game mode where you start at the front line of defence, then you pull back, and then yeah. you pull back, and then you pull back. But even with that, it's a bit difficult to do it when you only have one life. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Because once you're out, you're out, and there's no point in retreating back, you just kill them and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is the problem. Which... One way I reckon they could do this, where you have multiple lives, is if the um, defenders have more time to kick out the house a bit better, but then the attackers have multiple lives, and it's until they run out of um, optives. Yeah, like respawns. Like so, could, so the first wave is taken out, you're sending in reinforcements. Yeah, you could, yeah they could do something like that. Um, I think, so, right, just to end the video on, because we could ramble off rages, but like, we're not looking at a new Rainbow game until probably 2020. Because you're looking at, 20, end of 2017, they finished the cycle. They might have a team starting work on Rainbow Six, whatever. So we might, maybe at the end of 2018, looking at the site, how fast these cycles now, but 2018, early 2019, possibly. I don't think they're going to make the same mistake. They'll make a single player. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have a single player campaign. They will, because it's, it's, it's like Titanfall. They make a good multiplayer. Yeah. Um, they haven't got the same. Whereas uh, Rainbow Six had the whole decent ish multiplayer with Terrace and stuff, and they had a good single player with co op, and then they've gone backwards and they need to get back onto it. Because otherwise, people are going to say, look, fucking hell, if I want a multiplayer game, I'm going to play Battlefield. But even that has a single player. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Titan 4 2, great multiplayer, it had a campaign. The first one didn't, but a great multiplayer, so they've rectified it. Fair enough. Fine. It, when you go backwards, that's when people get pissed when, off. When you start taking stuff out, which you have, when you have more in the old games and you start taking stuff out, that's... That's when it, you, that's when it pisses you off. Each new game should add more stuff, or at least have the same amount of stuff. But when you're charging people a full, same price for a game which only has multiplayer, when other games are giving you single player, multiplayer... Zombies, you know, yeah. Everything, then you're starting to look at, like, why am I paying for this game? Well, I could get this game. Yeah. You, you buy Battlefield 1 because it looks pretty and it's fun. You buy Titanfall because it's got a single player, decent single player, it's got Titans, it's got a different flavour. You buy Call of Duty because, let's be fair, I know this is different going across a different game, but quickly, Infinite Warfare, that is a Call of Duty game, I haven't enjoyed a Call of Duty game, single player, I've played the multiplayer really, but single player campaign, Call of Duty multiplayer always annoys me, I prefer Modern Warfare. And yes, they had the thing about having uh, the remastered with it, rumbled with it. I'm hoping they strip that away. Because um, I really want to play uh, Modern Warfare you know, with everyone else um, on the Xbox One, reminisce about it. Hats off to them, they made a good single player. It was fun, it was different. No, I've heard a good thing. I'm not playing it at all, but I've heard good things about it. Yeah, exactly. And that's what Rainbow Six needs to do. They need to make the next game, it needs to be as good engaging single multiplayer as Siege with more destructive environments whatever single player 
a good co-op. solid single player which you can do single or co-op but not the games are starting to stop doing co-op multiplayer but co-op campaign which oh um, that's another video jamie yeah, Ca- another couch video. co-op that's yeah. another video jamie i'm afraid but yes but couch stop co-op taking features out of games and and stop Keep saying the, the frame rate. rate. I don't give a shit if the frame rate goes down to 30 frames a second when I'm playing split screen with my friend on the couch. Who gives That's a fucking what shit? Do anyway. Who gives a fucking shit? I'm playing with my friend on yeah. the couch. We don't care about it being the frame rate. What we care about is enjoying, enjoying the game. <sighs> That's a whole other thing. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. Anyway, this has been our first episode of. Gone but not forgotten, as we're going to call it. Didn't really talk uh, much about Patriots. No, but the point, the point, what? Well, well, the point is, there's not much to talk about Patriots because it, it, for them it, they gave a thingy, a demo that wasn't actual gameplay. It was just the development cycle where they thought, and then they thought, oh shit, the new consoles are coming out. Um, we need to make a, a game and the destructible environments and um, multiplayer. People love multiplayer, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh my god, what are we going to do? Oh, scrap it, scrap it, start again. People love Tales, and let's make that into a game. game. Uh, and just panic, like. It, it it just seems like they just go right. We need to get this out. We need to get the yeah. money. It's the same. It's the same with all things though. When we when we make a video, we're like, oh, we've got to get it out quickly. <laughs> otherwise, people aren't going to view it, which is true. No one's going to view this. No, they're not. They're not we're going to get twenty it. views. Thank you for your continue. Thank you. <laughs> twenty views is better than nothing. Though. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for hearing us ramble for a bit. Um, we'll do more episodes of this. Probably Battlefront Three or my personal favourite, um, Stargate, um, The Alliance. Is another personal favourite of mine for. I know I did that with getting that I'll, in the game. I'll, 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 have, to, I'll have to show you, Jamie. <laughs> we'll have to it, was gonna, it was going to be epic. <laughs> it was going to be epic. <laughs> Most like order games on this. Really yeah, yeah it was going to be epic. Like Scalebound, we'll probably do it as well. Um, that's a recent one as well, Scalebound. Yeah. Makes no sense. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for your continued support. Continue support. There you go, Sam. And over 2,000 subscribers, we're on 5,000. By end of uh, 2017, we'll be there. I hope. I hope. Right. See you guys later.